everyone's favorite holiday is here. Delicious Mexican food. Um, we thought we'd do something a bit different. We're gonna show you a yummy little snack as well as a virgin drink that you can share with your kitties. And if you don't have any kitties, obviously you add the tequila and then it's not a virgin drink. So enjoy! Oh, and make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more from us. And if you make these delicious treats, make sure to tag us in them if you post them on Instagram or on Twitter. So, we're going to start off with our um, mango and papaya chili lime sticks as a yummy little snack. And who doesn't like sweet and hot together. That's my like, most favorite thing. It's delicious. So we're going to start with the seasoning first. Okay, we're going to start one tablespoon of sugar. Um, I, don't, I mean, the fruit is pretty sweet, so I'm not going to do a full tablespoon. We'll put a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of chili powder, You want just a pinch of your cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is my favorite. I put it on like everything. I put it on fish, I put it on chicken, I'll put it on vegetables or salads. It's my most favorite thing. That's way more than a pinch. See? Don't touch your eyes now. And then we're gonna do uh, the zest from one lemon, or sorry, a lime. I'm colorblind. Um, make sure you wash the outside of your lime before using it. I mean, it's been in the store. Probably like 50 people have picked it up in a day. It's disgusting. So you don't want 50 people's germs in your seasoning. So we've got our lemon zest in there. Now we're just gonna mix the seasoning together. Did I say lemon again? I said lemon again. Lime, lime, you're going to mix your lime zest with the rest of your spices and sugar. There we go. And then we'll just put it off to the side and let it sit and soak in the flavors and then we'll cut our fruit up. Okay, so you're gonna wanna cut these your mangoes and your papaya into kind of like fry shapes. We're gonna to top the slices in the seasoning that we just made. Once your mango and papaya is cut up into your sticks, you're going to Season it with the chili lime seasoning. And then you serve like that. You're gonna need one or two cans of a frozen lemonade or margarita mix. At least one cup combined of mango and orange juice. I was lucky enough to find it. an actual mango and orange juice already combined. So first you have to open your mix. Eventually it'll come out if you squeeze the can enough. Um, and make sure to mix your juice before you pour it in. And then like I said, you need one cup of the juice. Pour that into the same blender that the mix is already in. And then you're going to need one, two, three, and four ice cubes. And then you just screw the lid on. Uh, but now you get to watch me struggle with this blender. Oh, first time. Second time. Well, I'm just going to stop counting.
I thought maybe if I switch the blades out it might work, and it kind of does, but you'll see <laughs> it kind of gives me a hard time as well. The noise that it was making, you can't hear it in this video, but the noise that it was making was pretty scary. Anyways, when you're done blending your mixture, um, take your lime half, and you can cut a slit in the middle of it to make it easier, and just put the lime around the edge of your glass so that the lime juice is on the edge. Once the lime juice is on the edge, I poured my coarse salt into a separate flat dish, and then you can just dunk the glass with the lime juice into the salt. Try to coat as much of the rim as you can. Once that's coated, you can pour your margarita mix into your margarita glass. And don't forget to top it off with the lime half. And of course, you can make this a virgin drink or you can add tequila and you can spice it up for you and your friends.